Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to take a, a few minutes. Uh, I was working on a project for the farm and thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about a tool that we use quite uh, often here uh, for planning and uh, laying out designs for where we're going to put structures, where we're going to fence on the farm, and that's Google Earth. Uh, first, I found it kind of funny this, uh, this morning when I went and did a search uh, just on a lark. I typed in Tennessee Kiko farm, farm on Google Earth to see if we were uh, would show up and uh, to my surprise we actually did. So I went and did a search on Tennessee Kiko Farm and, and there we are. It zoomed right in on us. Uh, and Google Earth, of course being a Google product, it incorporates information it knows from Google. Uh, and, and so you see over here on the right of the screen, it tells anybody who does that search some information about the farm. You can type in more info, info and it would you know, take you to a screen and you know, it shows this kind of stock picture um, from, looks like, if I remember looking at the goats that are out there and where they are, I'd say that's from this past summer. And then there's other information you can find uh, about the farm uh, itself where it's located and, and all that. So there is some some basic information on there, but the, the real uh, thing that I like about Google Earth and how we use it here as a tool, I don't know that it's that many people go to Google Earth looking for you, but what we use it for is, is as a tool to help us make some plans. So let me zoom in a little bit here on our farm uh, itself. And if you hit the shift button uh, as you're kind of turning your mouse, you'll get this kind of ability to, to turn and, and get different views and slide around on it. And this is really kind of neat because you can, between being able to zoom in uh, on something down to the ground like we are now, and then using this shift and, and pivot kind of move, you can get kind of a feel, almost like you're walking across the top of, of, of the land as you, as you move. And that's really handy. It kind of flattens it a little bit, so it distorts it a little bit, but you're able to, to see some things. Like you see, this is kind of distorted. That hill is not, it's, it's a pretty big hill, but it's not that big but it's distorted because we've kind of flattened it. And if we go more of a top view, you'll get a little more accurate view. Um, but again, it is kind of handy to get down close and, and, then, and then pivot to, to take a look uh, across the field like we are right now. So how this is useful is that, for example, uh, this is one of our fields, one of our paddocks uh, in, in front of one of our barns. And I can take screenshots of this or I can take uh, you know export pictures from Google Earth and then import that either into other programs or just simply use it as a print off. And for example, if I were planning to build another barn here, uh, I could you know, lay out and put the barn, the barn dimensions here. Uh, I could lay out the fencing on here and get a view for how it's going to look on the property. Uh, Google also has a, a very handy tool uh, to allow you to help measure. And I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit. Um, so that I can get a good view of it. Yeah, it'll let me kind of zoom in there. So, so you get it, so you have your whole area in frame and then select a corner where you want to begin and, and it does a real quick but very accurate. I've, I've used this for fencing estimates before and then went out when I did the actual physical measurements, found it to be extremely accurate. So for example, on this uh, you know one paddock here, I can do that. Um, I can change it to you know, feet, change the area to uh, square feet. And so now I can see uh, linear distance that I might have for fencing. I can see area that might help me you know, understand how you know, much I can use that, how many goats I can put on it. Uh, and then also for materials for building and, and layout. So anyway, it's, it's, it's a very, to me, it's been a very useful, useful tool. The other thing that, that I find, I'm kind of spinning it around here sideways, um, that I find useful is I can, like I said earlier, I can put in structures that I'm planning to build uh, and do planning. The only thing you have to do have to be a little bit careful of is understand that Google Earth does not update, you know, every month or every week. Um, it seems in my area, at least, it, it does about every every year. Um, so I can tell by looking at this um, that this is last year's picture because here's my barn, 
And this barn has changed since then. We've built sheds that come out to here, all the way down, sheds out to here, all the way down. And then this whole area here is now covered and part of the barn. So I've, this barn has expanded since that time. But you can see, for example, where I fenced. And, and, and if you want to be able to see different views, you can select it so that you're not seeing just the, this is the satellite view. Um, then you'd be able to see that, you know, like topography of the land, layout of the land. Like, you know, right now, I know that this is fenced off to, to here to here. Um, and these are different areas as well for the goats. Um, and where we've been using a lot lately and where I was at today is, you know, on the new farm. This is the new farm. And so I can come out here and this is, you know, the field, one of the fields of the new farm. And so if I'm looking at this, this is where I built the new barn. So I can come out here, I can bring this into another program, I could put the you know, picture of the barn there, uh, where the crowd that we just built is right here. Uh, and then the fencing that we're currently working on is from to this fence line down to there. So if, for example, if I wanted to, and I've already done the measurements on this, uh, the crowd begins right here. I could go from here to the fence line where I'm gonna begin, and then down to the corner where this particular paddock is going to be. And because I've cleared this land here, the new fence goes all the way, new fence goes all the way to here. And it goes back to here. And this is where the barn is. So the fence will be in right there. And so I'm able, and if I want to close the loop to get square, you know, area, I could close the loop and then kind of tell me, you know, the size that I'm looking at for that particular buck pin that, that's there. Other areas over here where I've not done any fencing yet, I could come and measure off even if it's not necessarily shaped. This is a creek bed. This is the area that we recently just had cleared and I was showing some uh, pictures of that the other day. So if I go from the creek bed uh, down to the creek bed, along the creek where I'm gonna fence. I can just keep going and it's gonna tell me a really good estimate of what kind of fencing I'm looking at, what kind of total area I'm looking at, and that will then give me the information to know of you know, how many goats that I will be able to run on that, how often I need to move them. Now, I'll be able to make those decisions based upon uh, that information. So it's real quick, real easy to be able to do to know how, many, how much footage of fencing I'm looking at. Uh, and so forth. I want to get to some, some bigger areas. Uh, over here, this is one of our other uh, fields. And again, this is not exactly updated because there's now a fence that runs from here all the way down to there. But let's see um, if I wanted to see how much you know, fencing I needed to put in here. If I just ran it all the way down to the corner. Back over here to the corner what, I, what I'm working on fencing now. And I want to I want to fence it with no access to the pond, so I'll fence them off just like this, and then now I can see again total footage of fencing the area that I'm talking about. I could add in cross fences um, and make adjustments. I could add in where I'm going to put my structures. So it's just a very handy tool uh, for farm planning, uh, especially if you're either expanding or you're growing or you're changing a farm. If you bought a piece of property that you're repurposing for, for goat use, Google Earth, again, it's free uh, you know, to be able to go to. And there's a pro version of it, but I've never had to use the pro version because this has uh, all the tools that I need it to do. Um, and then, I, for example, I said earlier I could, I could do remove borders, uh, remove labels. I can add in custom labels. So that's it, kind of in a nutshell. That's, that's you know, Google Earth um, and some of the uses we can use it for on the farm. And like I said, I could screenshot this, uh, this area here, let's say this is the area that I'm working on, I could, I could screenshot this. Or let's say uh, another thing that I use this for often, um, let's say I'm working on building a, a new, uh, new barn and a new corral area, and I'm applying for some grant uh, funds that are available within the state. Um, and so 
I could measure off exactly the area. I'd be able to use that in my proposal for the grants for the TAEP money here in Tennessee or for um, USDA money or USDA grants. I could then build in the barn that I'm going to put there uh, by bringing this into another program and just adding that into there, add the fencing, and then I could just attach that as part of the proposal um, for the farm improvement. Say I was bringing in a water line, again, same thing. How far of a distance is it down the drive, uh, all the way into the to the barn? How much distance am I looking at? How much uh, am I, you know, footage wise, am I looking at for cost? And it would help me both estimate the cost for me and for any kind of proposals that I'm doing to maybe get, um, you know, some assistance within some farm programs if it's available. So I hope you find that useful. Again, I find this tool uh, handy. I use it use it quite a bit. And thought maybe you would too. Have a good day.